welcome to the second lesson of gene plot here we'll be doing the range we'll be fixing the range of the graphs we'll be setting manually the ranges the ticks and the levels so what we did is uh, we can plot anything so just start with the basic plot we knew that we could plot sin x so if you plot sin x this gives you a sin x this this is a radian so but the range in this minus 10 and plus 10 is not set by us this is a default genu plot set and the y ranges they set it by itself in many graphs we might need a different range so how to set that range the program is very simple set x range let's took it manually so this is minus 3 to let's say minus 8 to 8 so i can set x range like this so now say plot x sin x with this range I have taught you that we can make it a LW4. This is a line width 4. Okay. So this is this is good. This is great. This is x sin x. The y ranges is set by itself. It's a manual. So you can change. So then I say I will set my y range as minus 10 to plus 10 set y range minus 10 to plus 10 uh, this thing should be obvious to you let's set y range minus 10 10 then i can again plot x sin x so now here you see that your graph you should keep this graph there so set y range minus 10 to 10 so this is taking from minus 10 to 10 set uh, x range minus 8 to 8 it has taken minus 8 to 8 so these are the basic things we need to learn now the next thing will be can i keep it and just update it let's let's have an experiment over over there so can I just keep it and just automate it updating? Let's see what happens. Now, <coughs> now I want to make a label over there. We don't have a label. Okay, it would be better to show the axis. So that set x. G. We have already done that. Y zero axis L W four. Then again, I, if I make a plot, okay, that's updating itself. That that's that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Now I want to make a level. You can have a replot also. After we given that plot and make some changes in the instruction. I think uh, replot will also work. I have some space over here, isn't it? I do, I do. No, I, I, I just, uh, some padding should be there. Okay, then I need to do a labeling. So what I do is X level, okay, set x label x axis and oh, this is my x axis x this is, this is manual you can you can set as anything you want or anything you need or anything you ask for exam okay well i did a mistake that code should be set at this set y level this is y 
or or it's better to write x sin x okay so x sin x i write it inside inverted comma so it will plot exactly like this so then i can uh, have a replot so or you can just directly again plot x sin x or w4 so after i get replot you are able to see that and this and this x axis has been plotted with this is x and this is x star sin x i can increase the font of that level also so i think i forgot that okay let's have a try so set x level x sin x yes font blank comma size 20 will it work if this works then it's fine <laughs> no it is not is it size will work no no font name comma font size okay i think if i make a font then a empty comma and size 20 no font name comma font size okay finally finally ah. no yeah. so 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 have a replot. So have a replot. This uh, increased, it's increased. So make make uh, this x uh, level large. So set x level. What happens? I write it this. And this is x i write font i write a uh, inverted comma give a comma just a comma because i am not changing the font name so the first sequence is the, the font name but you know that there, is, there are many fonts times new roman or consolas there are many fonts so you'll be knowing that so what I do is I keep this font unchanged and size I make it 20. Then have a replot. It's increased. This. So what we have learned is how to change your X range, how to change your Y range, how to give this a level, how to give that a level, how to change the font of that level. Hige is the most important for me right now. Now the thing is the ticks, finally the ticks. See here in the Y, I have minus 10, 5, 0, 5, 10. They are selected automatically by the GeoNewPlot program. And here in your X, the ticks is apart by two numbers minus eight minus six minus four minus two zero two four six eight so what if i need i want to make the ticks manually in whatever manual differences i need to set the ticks suppose i say i need this x ticks at uh, sorry this y ticks in a separation of two means i need i want minus 10, minus 8, minus 6, like this. How to do that? This will be very easy. Set y ticks. T-I-C-K-S or... Okay, let's, let's have a try. y ticks 2. Will it work? No. Set y t-i-k-s ticks 2. No. X ticks. Okay, just just give me a second for that.
TIC is on. So set y t i c s to okay that's fine so what happens after i set this y ticks to this changes okay i need to replot see this changes minus 10 8 6 minus 4 2 so why not make a change in x set x ticks one. So after I set the x takes one to minus eight minus seven minus six. Set it. Maybe a replot. This changes. Every time you're doing a replot, you can just use the same plot x sin x. But after once I use the proper function, I can just make a replot, replot, replot. This thing changes. So this is uh, the last of this. Uh, I, I think I can change uh, the size of the ticks. Let's do it finally if I make a little bit bolder, a little bit larger. So set x ticks 1. Can I use the same thing? Font, comma, 12. Can I? Okay, I could replot. Ah, the, this becomes a little bit large. If I can, I can make this y. At every time you are getting a confusion, you just make a pause in the video, rewatch re it. Little bit, go a little bit back. I, I think you can you know how to how to make this a pause this video pause or this video just a back a little bit a few seconds it's okay set uh, this is the final thing don't get bored set y ticks to font let's make it 14 invited comma then adjust comma then 14 then make a replot this increases okay so friends that's it for this lesson i'll be talking much more in the next lesson bye, -bye.